Hey everyone, this is Chrissy Saliba with Thy Heart Scraps. I am so excited to be joining you guys this month on the YouTube Layout Hop. And I have an awesome file today to be able to share, but I wanted to talk to you guys about these pictures. I love the fact that the YouTube, YouTube Layout Hop crew decided to do pictures of your pets. And what a better you know way for me to celebrate two of my loves in my life. So um, this is my dog, Kaya. How gorgeous she is. And she loves this boy. Right, Charlie? Does Kaya love you? She loves him so much. And so I just, for you know, for Valentine's Month or for Love Month or whatever you call it, I was really excited to be able to um, do these pictures and honor them and honor her um, because our Fufu, our doggy, means a lot to us. Right, Charlie? Yeah, that's my boy, Charlie. Can you say hi to everyone? <laughs> and do you do any more happy scrappy with mama no no he's too busy with legos i've lost my son to legos well anyway so i'm going to be working with these images and a page taylor evans file let me zoom out for you guys see she is just a genius i love her work a lot okay baby you can go now so i love page taylor evans you hear that, right? You hear that. This is how mama gets her crafty time. So anyway, I love Paige Taylor Evans's files. And I'm going to tell you why. Because one, she's very, very sweet. If you join her face group, face um, book group, she answers emails. She answers questions from us. She is very kind. She asks us our opinions on the Disney files. So Paige Taylor Evans, I love your work. Um, there are... A couple of um, famous crafters that I really appreciate and Josephine Fouage is another one who's pretty darn famous and has a personal touch. Um, Paige Taylor Evans reminds me of, the, of someone like that who you know just down to earth so I appreciate her um, work in the group so this is where I got it. You can get it at pagetaylorevans.com and she has beautiful files. So I'm going to use this file. I was trying to make this picture fit but I can't make it fit. Um, with I would lose the beauty of this photo, right? So when we, the whole reason we're scrapbooking is so that we could have and preserve our beautiful images and our photos. So one of the things that I want to do is preserve these photos in a different way than I'm going to treat these photos. These photos are a little bit more whimsical. They're fun. Look at that. She's a beautiful dog. And as I'm crafting, I'll talk to you guys a little bit about my dog and why she's so important to my family. Um, so I'm going to choose these and I'm going to put them here and I'm going to speed uh, everything up. Okay, so let me turn my little music down. Um, so one of the cool things about her files is that you really can't fail with them. Look how beautiful this is already and I haven't even done anything to it. So all I did was I traced my picture and I'm going to glue it with, if you don't know about Eileen's glue, you need to get it, like run and get it now. This glue is very easy to use, it's very fast. Um, I have one with the tip on it, and I don't know exactly where I put it, but anyway, um, this makes it really easy to trace on the sides and be able to get a good image. And I also traced, I picked some colors that I thought would kind of liven the rest of the background up. So I have this one and I just traced my B out, if you can see right there. I traced my V onto the yellow. I traced um, some other letters because I wanted there to be contrast between all the um, colors and I brought this little light color in. And I also want to incorporate this paper. So I don't know, I don't be too surprised if I switch it up and just put it on here. So we'll see what I'm gonna do. But this paper is from um, Lori Whitlock's um, We Are Family. It's about a year old, I guess, but it's a beautiful paper set if you get this one. Oh, actually, all my papers are Lori Whitlock that I have picked. How crazy is that? So this is from Echo Park, so I will be using these. I am going to try my best to not make it too busy because I actually want this one to stay nice and clean and I'm fresh. So let's see what I can get going over here.
Hi everyone, so I'm back and look what I did here. Let me see if I could zoom in. See, so I um, put the pattern paper in there. Very, very easy. I am backing my layout with my yellow because I feel like that yellow makes a pop. Let me show you the difference. See, this is that and then the, with the yellow, it just kind of brings in this yellow. And I like having the singular yellow there just to kind of give the page some interest. And I was even thinking of putting a little um, rub on or something there that said a word, you know, something that goes with it. But I really want to try this whole, some of the stuff from the We Are Family kit. I was thinking of maybe adding um, something like, I can't just can't get enough of you. Simply wonderful, maybe you and me, because the colors are great. The colors are very complimentary. And then I was also thinking, I don't know about you guys, but I hoard craft supplies like no one's business, and it's really terrible. Um, and I have this Studio Cal & Co. bin. This is my bin. Let me just pan out a little bit so you guys could see. Oh, I don't know if I can. Let's see if I can make it bigger. Oh, y'all, I'm still learning. How many years later I'm still learning. So here goes, this is my little Studio Calico bin. And I have been hoarding this stuff. Guys, it's really d ridiculous. So I have been hoarding this stuff for years and years and years. And it's good stuff. I mean, I love the Studio Calico stuff and I just haven't used it. So I'm gonna come in here and try to see if I can embellish with that. But for now, I wanna try to find something from this Echo Park paper. And since I'm using um, the other Echo Park set, I think it's me and my boy. Here you go. This is what I wanted. I can't get enough of you. Um, maybe happy. Um, the best day. Some of these colors because they're really complementary to um, the layout, I think. The colors will work really nicely together. And I want to try to bring some white in there because I have a lot of other colors going on and kind of have something to match that. So I think I'm going to try to put in here the I can't get enough of you somewhere. I don't know if I'm going to stick it there. I don't know if I'll stick it here. I just don't know what I'm going to do with it. So I'm going to put that to the side. But we need some embellishment going on. So I think what I'll do is I'll start with bringing my paper down. So the story about my dog. My dog is a rescue. But we... Um, rescued her from some drug addicts on my block because she had been left out in the thunderstorms and um, no one had fed her for several days, two or three houses down. And then, so we started throwing food over the fences because when you live in Brooklyn and you have the little um, houses that connect the row houses, we were able to have um, the fence is low enough that we could throw her food two, two houses away. So we threw some food out and then our neighbors helped us drop food from their apartment over to her and she was just sitting there yelping. I felt bad for this poor dog. She was a little skinny thing and um, two or three days later my neighbor who um, wasn't doing very well for himself came over and said, hey I heard you really like my dog. Do you wanna Do you wanna buy her? I was like, huh, what do you mean? Do you want me to buy your dog? And he's like, well, I'm going to take her to go get put down. So if you don't want her now, you know, um, she's going to go. And so I looked at my husband and we had her kind of play with the other dogs. We had two more dogs. And she just fit in. This was Father's Day. She just fit in like nobody's business. She fit in like she had been ours from the you know, from the beginning. And so, and I have to do, I have to mention, this was a few years before we even had my son. So she was six months when we got her. And she was very afraid. She had been abused, and you could tell she had been abused. And so I'm really happy that, you know, we got her and we saved her from that. But for me, this dog is, oh, I like that there. Or maybe down here. I even like it right there. Okay, I'm gonna just kind of place you there. Um, the, I am a PTSD survivor, and this dog has really been um, more than not a lifeline because you know I I have um, God for that, and 
I just, she has been my, she always knows when there's something up with me, if I'm nervous about something, if I don't feel good about something. She's very um, in tune with me. And so I love, I have a very special relationship with my dog and I love her so much. But when my son was born, see, you can see them there. She changed. Her whole demeanor went from puppy to like, I'm a serious mama now. And she loved this little boy so much. So I just, I'm very glad I get the chance to honor my puppy with this layout because it's something you don't think about, but she is a big part of our family. She short sheets us every night, but we love our dog so much. And so I'm grateful that I get the opportunity to talk about my dog, Kaya, and um, my um experience with her as a ptsd survivor so i think i'm gonna try to i'm trying to see if i get some i've used this already my heart belongs to this would be cute to use my heart belongs to kaya or my belo heart belongs to the smiths what if i trim this my heart belongs to family okay this seems like it might be a little bit too big let's see what else i got going on here um so yeah, I think I need to put something here and here to balance it out. And I think I might leave that family there, but I'm just not sure what I'm going to do with that. I know I have some buttons and stuff. Focus on the good. Where could I stick? Oh, that would be great, like right there. Oh, I like that with the yellow right there. No, nope, but I like it right better. Oh, I like, okay, so we're working on something now. And so, do you guys, I don't know how you guys are with your, um, your pets, but I've been told, you know, we love our animals very much and that we're very, um, into our pets. And I don't know if people mean that in a snarky way or what, but yeah, we do love our pets. Our pets mean the world to us. And we only have one dog right now and I wish we had more but in this season of my life with my son and how busy we have been I don't think that's going to be possible for us. Let's see what's in here. This is all the stuff from Studio Calico that I have hoarded over the year. I know this is a little plain Jane but part of me almost likes this layout to be so plain Jane. Right? Maybe a piece of notebook paper so that I could journal. That might be cool. I like that. So here I am kind of creating this little area right here and creating a little interest and I really like that so I think I'm going to stick with that on this corner and then I feel like I don't, I need something here which I might do some paint splashes or maybe even a clip right here or something and then I need, I'm going to pull this out so you guys could see, um, I need I'm going to journal right here. I have love you, family, and then maybe something in this corner to balance this out with this white space here. But I like it. I'm glad that I took the time to kind of pull out some of my old stuff. This is <laughs> this is Jenny Boland Studio. Do you guys remember these stickers? Oh my gosh, my stuff is so old, but I have really saved some money because I want to go, I want to do away with a lot of my stuff. And I'm going to spend a lot of the summer um, crafting daily so that I can get through my stuff and my son's pictures. It's going to be, and I have a gift for a student, a former student of mine, that I want to be able to finish working on and get that right there. And so let's see how we're looking. Yeah. Okay. Like that. Focus on the good. I don't want her face to be covered up so much. 
that works really well. I like this little center area right here. If you could see like that. And so I think right there I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna let this sit for a little while and figure out what I, what else I'm going to do. I feel like I need a little bit of paint on here. And I don't know.